Good morning, USA. Day three. We are in the blue truck today, as you can tell. Look at that visor. This is a live look going down the road. I don't think you've seen this yet. There you go. Chicken lights reflecting off the air cleaners. Heading down the road. Let her eat. Yeah. Are those glasses? Decker, you got glasses? Yeah, well, I've had glasses actually for like since middle school. I only wear them when I'm driving or I wore them in school because I couldn't see the whiteboard. And when I'm driving, I figured I should probably be able to see really well, not only for my safety, but for other people's safety. Today, we are headed to Nevada, Lincoln Way hauling some neighbor's corn and after that I'm gonna head back to the bean place where I've been loading the beans out the past couple days and get back on beans today is Wednesday and there is a bad winter storm rolling through northern Iowa sounds like we might get a little bit of snow mixed with some sleet we'll see how that develops throughout the morning here hammer down I would say eastbound and down, but we are westbound and down. So I guess you could put the spin on it. Westbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Paint me green, call me a pickle. Place is stacked up. My goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna say 10 trucks ahead of me. Hey, how about that? It's 7.45 and we're moving. We're moving. I don't know how, but there's already a guy that's already dumped and been through. It's literally been like, not even a couple minutes. And truck drivers are like vultures, man. As soon as it, it's ready to go, it's just like, you know, there's on it. Well guys, as you can see, we're back in the truck shed. Just got home, it's about 12.30. Uh, I ended up, did that one load to Nevada, and then I ended up actually running a load down to Des Moines yet this morning at the place I've been going to. I gotta flip my hood up, because that's what we do, flip the hood. Because it incentivizes us to check the oil, wash the windows, and it keeps the bird crap off. That's the most important thing, remember? Ended up calling it a day, because for one, the truck is basically an icicle right now. Are you ready for this? It's just kind of cool. I almost didn't get in the shed or the yard because it's an ice rink. Yeah, it's, it's a little gritty because of the gravel, but overall, it's an ice rink. And I don't even know where this even came from because it barely even rained. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Be careful out there, folks. You better put this thing down. This is how we do it. You drive like you got something going on. Look at that. Cruising right up there, no problem. That's how you do it. Come on, Willis. What are you doing? Yeah, look at that. Piece of cake, Bubby. Piece of cake. Bubby! This is what I'm doing. Got my farm manager dogs here to help me. Yeah! Oh my. <laughs> we need to clean this up. Got to get work back and on the, Devin's trash talking me. Got to work on the blue pickup over here, so, yeah. Deja vu again. Put a little oil in the power plant.
big 80 pound bundle of joy. Little beast. Sit. Can you sit for the camera? Can you sit? Sit. Esty, sit. Good dog. You bark? You lay down? Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Come on, for the camera. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, ho, ho. good girl. That is one smart dog. See you later, everybody. Everybody remember that combine video? Hmm, back of my son's pickup. Hmm. Don't go look at mine though now. <laughs> That's awesome. Payback. Relish it. Hey, these look good. I might grab some of these. Nice. Don't stand under falling ice. What cool stuff can you do today? Can you go load corn? Go with Decker. Go load corn. Come on. Go load corn with Decker. Go load corn with Decker. <laughs> Look at that corn loading beast. You come down now? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come down. Come on. He's right behind you. Come on. Look at that. So gentle. You are like a big lion. Go on. Esty, come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on, Esty. Go on. Go on. Esty, 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 come. Hey, come on, girl. Come on. Oh, yeah, buddy. Okay, now go down. Go down. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, that was so graceful. <laughs> like a cat. Hang in there, buddy. Stay in there. Well, just in case, if you wondered if my French drain was working, I'd say it's working like a charm. Now let's go look at the other end of that and see what's going on, where that water is coming from. Two hours ago, <clears throat> that water was right up against that rock, up against that building there on the corner. And look how much it's went down just in two hours. So my French drain does work out here. Might not be as fast as you hope, but underneath that grass, there's a, a rock drain that goes down to the tile. And that outlet I just showed you, that's where that water's going. So it does work. Frost is really coming out of the ground hard today and last this last weekend. This is kind of soupy and muddy all around. It's the way it is in late February, early March. What's up, YouTube? Today's the day. We're making more progress on the old 87. Here we go. I just. Roni. Roni. Est. Please. It's okay. It's okay, baby. We are starting to paint. We've got the frame grinded down about as good as you can get with a grinder wheel and uh impact driver attachment so this is por 15. there you go they tell you you can paint right over the rust after you get it you know fairly cleaned off so that's what we're doing things like this on frames i mean obviously you can't take everything apart you can take some apart so we're just getting what we can get getting all the nooks and crannies as best as you can and uh, it'll it'll help a lot you know it'll it'll clean it up keep it from rusting out and that's the it's the whole goal really get her looking nice and good get the fuel tank back on get the thing running then we'll get the flatbed on get the stacks back on come out
save you from the boringness of painting, how exciting it is painted. Got as best as I could, all the nooks and crannies. I didn't do anything under the cab. I'm really not sure if we are, just because it's really not too bad under there, but we'll see. And I did not do the differential pumpkin because we may need to change some fluid or check it out. So I just didn't do that quite yet. Looks a lot better already. Obviously, you can tell I got a little bit on me. This weekend, I don't know if I should spoil it yet or not. It'll probably be maybe a part of this video, but we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere exciting to look at something exciting. And yeah, I'll just, I'll leave it at that. I would say by next weekend, if we could have this thing running, that would be great. That's the plan, we're sticking to it. Probably won't happen, you know how it goes. But anyway, it's checking out, it's gonna be it for tonight. Peace. Hey, YouTube, tonight was the inaugural night in the Sue Cup Suite with our insurance agent, Mr. Ryan Fonts. Ah, there we did go. Did he do a good job or do we send him out the salesman's door? Oh, it's a 10 foot fall to nowhere. It's a mud. Oh, no, nah, he did good. We'll keep him. Yep, we'll spare him today. You need crop insurance, talk to that man. Shield insurance. That's right, baby. Let's see it. Shield insurance. If you're a Hawkeye fan, you go there. If you're a Cyclone fan, you go there. Shield insurance. He can do purple for you and I, too, if need be. He's the man. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Hey, YouTube. We're on a little road trip today with DJ28 and Bucky. Yep. Woo! And me. We are currently in Canton. Missouri. Misery. No, Missouri. Misery. Mizzou. Anyway, we'll tell you along the trip is what we're doing, but we're going to look at something. And uh, we needed to stop at about, about 8.15, get us a nice little sandwich pick-me-up at a local Casey's. We don't know how much farther Casey's will be continuing into the south, but we will find out. St. Louis is the next stop on our horizon. See you later. So I forgot. So when we stopped at Casey's, what do you get at Casey's? So let's start with DJ. What did you get at Casey's? Breakfast pizza. And a Gatorade. He got a Gatorade, but he's currently working on a some other type of drink. Oh, and of course, Easter's coming up, so you get Reese's. You get an Easter egg Reese's. Uh, what did Bucky get? A couple slices of pie. Pie. Coffee. Pie? You mean like apple pie? No. Casey's pizza. pizza. Oh, pizza. Like Casey's breakfast pizza. Pizza pie. And coffee, and then um, of course a Mountain Dew for later when you. Oh, and then a bag of pretzels. You can't forget Dottie's that. twisted pretzels. Oh, those are awesome. Well, here we go. Back on Interstate. 218 aka the avenue of the saints so yeah little hint to what we might be looking at where in the world are we at now herculaneum, herculaneum missouri where in the world is that uh, about an hour south of st louis so here's something that's really interesting please comment on the comment section where else would they comment at <laughs> you know what's really annoying about basically any vehicle that you drive are the unsized cup holders look at this will not fit a 32 ounce Gatorade are you kidding me but it'll fit a 12 ounce can of Pepsi, whatever, whatever you got. But what do you, what do you do with this? Whoa. I mean, what do you do with this? Sign this road. Hey, everybody. We are getting close to Benton and Dystat. Just south of Cape Girardeau. Yeah, That's just, there you go. Look at that road, just straight. Oh, you can't see it now. Oh, I didn't video it soon enough. Somebody from Iowa State engineered this road. It's yeah, straight. As straight. It's perfect. Look at out here, the farm ground. They got to water their 
crops with irrigation. It's pretty green down here. They got like four inches of rain yesterday. You stop. Oh, oh, the best Chicken. fast food. Chick yeah. Fila. Fila. Yeah. You gotta love that. Yeah. Well, the road is straight ahead. Just drive straight. Here we are. Arkansas. What are we doing? Kansas oh, we're driving down Interstate 55, semi in front of us is fighting the wind. It's windy out today. Old semis all over the place. Anyway, we're gonna keep the secret going. Triple G excavating. That first time a badger. Look what we're looking at. You're not soon to be not sure what we're here. Maybe a low boy trailer, possibly. Well, we're gonna take her home in the morning. Putting her to bed tonight. We'll come back and get it. See how she looks coming in. Oh, look at that! Got a little light flickery on it. Looks pretty cool at night. Got the red light underneath. This is going to be what we call the Razorback. Going to fit right into the fleet. Looks beautiful. Absolutely awesome. Roll the dice, Razorback. We come to Arkansas, and what does Bucky pack all his clothes in? <laughs> we just did it, right? A paper oh, sack. If a man can't survive with the clothes on his come back, on, then man. he just won't give Come on, Come on. A paper sack. A paper sack and a stick over the shoulder. Just needs a stick. <laughs> Staying the night in Arkansas, or taking the truck home tomorrow. Peace. Hey, everybody, what's going on out here? Hey, it's next Those door. who know, know. <laughs> <laughs> the old farmer crimping the bell. Get that mailbox stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> Get your stuff ready. <laughs> the mailbox. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. We got Triple G excavating hats on. We stayed at a Holiday Inn last night. Breakfast was great. That was. Um, Always is. We are headed back. It's about... 10 minute drive to the guy's shop, pick up the truck, take her home. Better work. Come on. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll the dice. Suppose he'd honk the horn. We'll have to pass him and he can do it. We'll get that in the later one. Get into the cornfields of Iowa. Almost home. This thing is a tank. Look at this. In 10 miles, take exit 16 beyond to US. Oh, 18 North thanks, Siri. And US 30 West toward Tama. I already know where I'm at, but thank, thank you. I appreciate the uh, help. Woo! Just for fun. That is what I like to hear. See you home.
put it on. <laughs> oh, he missed the gear. <laughs> he missed the gear. Rookie. Area 21. And the razor back. Gosh, he box scraped the yard today. Look at this. This is beautiful. That was all muddy out there. All dried up. White and red. White and red. Look at that. Everything just matches in. Fuel barrels, white and red. There we go. Later on.